Okay, I'm going to uh, explain about that, quote, blue wave um, and show us uh, Floridians uh, where we're at for the midterm elections. I'm going to jump down to the primary. So in the primary, this is just vote by mail. 621,000 Republicans voted by mail and 564,000 Democrats voted by mail. That is a uh, uh, 57,000 more Republicans, uh, so a deficit of 57,000, and usually, it, well, we'll get into that. So, the vote by mail returns as of October 20th, 2018, is 386,000 Republicans have already voted, and 336,000 Democrats have voted. So, again, or still, Republicans are leading by 50,000 votes. Now, it's a very similar vote count for the uh there's 4.9 million registered Republicans and 5.2 million Democrats. So overall, the Republicans are winning the voter turnout. They usually they do usually turn out more. Um, so that's uh, that could be a problem for the Democrats because a lot of these races are very very tight. So for example, here's some stats in in the last midterm election: three million. Uh, and change did not vote uh, at Democrats, and the um, uh, the Republicans, 2.4 million, uh, did not vote. So when everything's evenly matched, you can see how uh, that could be a problem. So there was only 32,000 more Republicans voted than Democrats, and so you could say those 32,000 people essentially uh, swung the election. So it's all about voter turnout because voter turnout is so Let me show you the latest poll from St. Pete Polls. Um, uh, 1,974 voters on October 16th. And um, that's a lot from the different media markets. Um, it's all factored and broken down. You can get this poll online. Um, see this full PDF. Now, I'll... Um, Ron DeSantis, 45.9%. Andrew Gillum, 47. Basically, a point apart, a statistical tie, really. Uh, there's plus or minus, of, what is it, 2.2%. So that means if the Republicans turn out a little bit more, and it shows you here, if you go to the breakdown, it shows you that, okay, 16% of the Democrats are voting for DeSantis, and... 17% of the Republicans are voting for Gillum, okay? So essentially, it's basically all dead nuts even. There's equal Republicans, there's equal Democrats. Republicans always turn out a little bit more. They have a slight edge. The Democrats have talked about a blue wave. This year, I'm a Democrat. Uh, normally, I'm an independent. So the blue wave is not here, okay? So at this current stats... With this basically tie, okay, we got DeSantis at 40, let's just call it 46, Gillum 47, Rick Scott 48.6, Bill Nelson 47.2. Basically, the Republicans have won the state because of lack of turnout on the Democratic Party side, which is so I invented shadow votes so we could put a bounty on these voters. Look at the next video or my, uh, my video explaining how that works. Thank you. Conclusion, no blue wave. At least they might show up on election day, but what are they waiting for?